you bring the ghosts of history to life? You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Lincoln. <laughs> This settles the fate for all coming time. Not only of the millions now in bondage, but of unborn millions to come. It would be easy to blame the lack of technology for any real portraits of our earliest presidents. But truth be told, even today they remain elusive subjects. The closest we've come to understanding any man to hold the office is the one who we found the most fallible. So how can we possibly understand the man we found the most infallible? Perhaps more than any president, Abraham Lincoln has become an American legend defined by a single deed, the Emancipation Proclamation. But while it was a single deed, it was far from a simple deed. Resolving the issue of slavery here in the United States was a complicated and dark matter. Yet as humans so often do, particularly us Americans, we like to look back at our history through rose-colored glasses. Or at least we did. With the advent of the internet, gone were the days when the press corps kept the secrets of presidents. Suddenly those rose-colored glasses were removed from the Drudge Report to WikiLeaks, and we humans, even we Americans, began to see our leaders as they really are. But how about as they were? Despite Steven Spielberg's promise that he is presenting the real Lincoln, audiences are wary of yet another fluff piece, especially from one of the greatest commercial filmmakers of all time. But like Lincoln, Spielberg's actions speak louder than his words. He's hired Daniel Day-Lewis to portray Lincoln and Angels in America playwright Tony Kushner to write his words, two men famous for exposing truths through their art. So have Spielberg, Day-Lewis, and Kushner succeeded in showing us Lincoln as he truly was, or succumbed to the all-too-easy temptation of putting the legend on a pedestal? Let's go find out. So I just got back from seeing Lincoln, and I have to tell you, at the end of the movie, I cried really hard. And I surprised myself because, and I'm sure I'm surprising you, because everybody knows, spoiler alert, Lincoln dies at the end of the film. But uh, I cried because I felt that through the course of the film, I had come to know Lincoln as a man. And that means that Steven Spielberg, and not just Steven Spielberg, but his team of himself, Daniel Day-Lewis, and Tony Kushner succeeded in doing what I talked about in the open of this video, which is making Lincoln seem like a real person. Uh, and you might be saying to yourself, Grace, how can that be possible? I've seen the trailer. That does not appear to be the case. And I would say to you that both the trailer and the poster do a real disservice to this film. This is anything but what you've seen in the trailer. It is anything but a fluff piece. It is very real. It's as if someone took, it's as if someone purposely went out of their way to misrepresent the film. Uh, maybe because uh, they felt that's what America wanted, which I think is unfortunate, or audiences, I guess, in general, you know, global audiences, but maybe particularly America. But I feel that's unfortunate because it shows a real, um, you know, underestimate, underestimating American audiences. Uh, and thinking, oh, well, if this isn't like the old school Lincoln that they see in their old history textbooks, they aren't going to want to go. Uh, but as you can see from the reaction to the trailer, that's not what people want, and that's not what Spielberg and Dale Day-Lewis and Kushner give you. Uh, and this has been a little bit of a problem uh, for Disney, both also with John Carter, which also was misrepresented in its advertising and was actually a very solid film. Not as good as this film, but a really good, you know, popcorn action movie. And Lincoln is what it is what everyone has said. It's an Oscar contender in every way. It is the best movie I've seen of the year uh, so far. I haven't seen everything obviously, but what I've seen is the best. Uh, that said though, I would like to take a moment to say if you are not a fan of history and biographies, which I am, I'm particularly a fan of American history, but if you're not interested in, you know, taking people apart and seeing how they tick or how politics work, uh, you are going to be really bored out of your mind during this movie. This is a very talky film. This is a very uh, politically intellectual film. Uh, so if that doesn't sound like something you want to sit through for, you know, over two hours plus, and even as a fan of those things, there are points where I felt uh, the movie could have done with some editing. It was a little too long, even for me, but I, I still really enjoyed it immensely. But if you're somebody who's not that into those kinds of things, politics and, and, and talky entertainment, I would tell you that maybe this is something you're not going to want to see, at least not in theaters. Uh, you know, I, I feel it will be required viewing for anybody who, in a history class. I mean, lots of children will get to see this movie because uh, their teachers will and should play it for them. Uh, and also, Tony Kushner, I really feel that, well, first of all, Daniel Day-Lewis. Daniel Day-Lewis, 
I was watching this movie and I kept thinking it's a shame he just got an Oscar recently for There Will Be Blood because he deserves another one. And you, you might ask yourself, can we give Daniel Day-Lewis an Oscar every time he steps on the screen? And when you see performances like this, you're like, maybe you should. It's really phenomenal acting. I know I complained about the voice in the trailer. Uh, it, it, where I was, I found it very jarring, and I, when I, in defense of that, with some people I've talked to, uh, both online and in my own life, I had said, well, if you're going to do, if you're going to change the way Lincoln's voice is portrayed, you should change the way he's portrayed in general, and that's not what this movie does. But it is what it does. Uh, again, the trailer was misleading. This is a very different approach that we've ever seen on Lincoln, and I think it's very successful. So the voice worked. The voice worked wonderfully. Uh, I'm sorry for doubting you, Daniel Day Lewis. Uh, and really great acting from him. It was interesting, there was a moment when Abraham Lincoln sits down with uh, Ulysses S. Grant, played by Jared Harris, and it was fascinating to sit there and think, uh, these are two un-American actors playing these iconic Americans, and maybe that frees them from having to maybe give them this legendary status, they can be more real, but at the same time, uh, and there are some great American actors in this film, but it would be nice if maybe we were... Uh, I'm sure they exist. If we were, if Hollywood were showcasing some more American talent, so they could get to the levels of a Daniel Day Lewis. Uh, although interestingly, I thought that Jared Harris's performance was really held back by his uh, very poor American accent. What so? What the hell, Jared Harris? Everyone else can do an American accent over in England. What's wrong with you? But uh, but back to the movie. Tony Kushner though. Tony Kushner deserves huge praise for this film. There are times when it does seem like a play, but I think that works because of the time period. Uh, it's not a very technologically advanced time period. Um, the, t the pacing was different, the way it was. So I think that kind of theatrical theatricalness suits the production. But Tony Kushner did an amazing job. Uh, I don't know how much of this is true. Uh, I know he worked extremely hard on it. Uh, I know that uh, the author this is based on, uh, Doris Goodwin uh, Kearns, I believe. She she has been accused of plagiarism in the past, but you know not exactly not of getting her facts wrong. Uh, there are really wonderful, nice little moments that, and also anecdotes um, of Lincoln asking people for advice, which I think is really fascinating to see. And I, I know people like that even today, and it shows what a great leader he is. But you know, constantly polling people and asking what they think, uh, and a lot of that often leads to decision making for him. And you wonder, was that real? Did that person really affect the course of history by being honest when Lincoln asked them a question? Uh, I, I don't think we'll ever know, uh, but it really worked very well here, and I'm willing to accept that it's as real as we're, it's as close to the truth as we're going to get. Uh, really fantastic movie. Um, Lincoln in the film uh, is very fond of stories, and I would like to think that he would be fond of this one. It's quite good. It's a very heavy film. It is a very sad film. Uh, but if you are a lover of American history or any history in general, or biographies, it's a must-see. And I do feel it's going to be a very strong contender in awards season. Probably the least so for Steven Spielberg. I and also, I would also like to add at the very end here that uh, I've never really been a big fan of Steven Spielberg's serious work. I thought it was certainly capable, but it wasn't on the level of other directors. I feel he hit it here. This is the best. This is on par with his more commercial endeavors like Jurassic Park. So kudos to the entire group of people behind this film. It's wonderful. It's an important moment in American history, which, by the way, not outlined in the trailer. When this film is made, it is after the Emancipation Proclamation had already taken place, and this is detailing Lincoln's behind-the-scenes efforts to politically wrangle the votes he needs to pass the 13th Amendment to the Constitution uh, and hopefully end the war. Uh, with, well, he did, but it, it, there's a lot of surprises in here that I think that uh, it would be nice if American history courses would maybe maybe focus on this a little bit more. Great movie. I love it. My favorite of the year so far. Go see it. So I hope you enjoyed my uh, review of the film. Thank you for coming to be on the trailer, not just for reviews like this, but for audience reactions to other films and also movie news and trailers and trailer reviews. So I hope you'll subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching. Bye.